the levels effect. Essentially, it's good for some quick color correction. On the far left side of the graph, you have the darkest pixels, like the extreme black, and on the right is extreme white. This is the brightness value of the pixels, and so you're seeing that most of the pixels in the image, this image, live in this dark half. You can toggle with this button here, and it separates into red, green, and blue. You can even isolate individual colors and see where the red pixels are, where the green, where the blue is. This control on the left controls where the black pixels are. So if you drag it, as you can see, the image is becoming darker because these pixels now are on the left side of this indicator. So all of these pixels are now pure black. If you grab the end on the right, it does the opposite. So now we're turning pixels white and we can have like the whole image turn white. And then this middle controls where the midpoint is. So if you drag it this way, now more of the pixels are on the white side or until it's very dark, but you still retain a little more detail. Okay, what is the second bar beneath that? Well, this essentially tells the software that the darkest pixels in the image will now be whatever value this arrow is pointing at. So right now it's set to black, but you can increase that value so all the darkest pixels are assigned to, to this middle-ish gray. So if you're doing some compositing and you want an element to look like it's in the distance, you can introduce a little bit of haze by changing this value here. And if things are a little too bright and perhaps you want to put some white text in front of an image and you don't want any pure white pixels to uh, confuse the viewer, you can drag this value down, which in this image doesn't do a whole lot because there's nothing even close to white but that does darken things generally. I'm just gonna play around with one other clip to demonstrate. And if I add levels here, I can increase the contrast by pulling up the, the blacks like this and pulling down the white slider, not too much because you start to notice you're losing detail in the watch band here if you pull it down too far. And then we can adjust the gamma as necessary. This is a nice little super quick color correction tool if you need it. And once you understand it, it's pretty powerful.